Hey guys, you saw the thumbnail, you know what we're here to do. We are here to see how well a carbon fiber guard protects a pipe. Now, this has been on here for quite a long time. It is definitely hammered and beat up. Let's go look at the other side. It's uh, definitely got some damage everywhere. Uh, this pipe was not perfect when I put it on there. It was, uh, I'd blown it out once, so it wasn't perfect, but we are going to take it off. Now, I haven't even peaked yet. So you guys are here with me for the first time. I'm gonna pop this thing off and see how well it did at protecting this pipe. Now, you all know how I feel about these things. So I'm kind of thinking what we're gonna see under there is gonna be discouraging at best. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's grab a tool and let's pull the thing off. Not bad, really. Did an okay job, honestly. Considering how beat up that was, um, I definitely expected more damage in through here. So that's pretty impressive. Let's take a look at the rest of it. Obviously, ooh, that was that was bent a little bit. It wasn't bent that bad. But again, that's not terrible. Underneath side looks good. I don't like how it does collect dirt and stuff like that, but honestly, it did pretty well. Let's take a look in here and we can see that it definitely has been leaking. Probably it would have leaked anyway. The pipe has been on there a while. So I guess the pipe guard did pretty darn well. I'm still not gonna run them normally. I really do just like to run the pipe all by itself. I honestly don't know if it would have bent. You can see it definitely bent it up. This is now closer than it was. This is kind of off from where it was. It definitely is bent like that way and up. Uh, and we are leaking at the head. So I don't know if that would have done that even with like without it or not, but it did a better job than I thought. The reason I don't normally run them is because when you hit something with the pipe, the energy has to go somewhere. If it's just bare pipe like this, usually it just, you know, it might cave this in or dinner or whatever, but it doesn't want to drive the whole thing backwards, which is a bit of a thing. And actually you can see that I had to take the um, pipe mount off back here. I forgot about that. I had to take the pipe mount off back here at one point because it wouldn't fit because it did drive the whole thing backwards. So, I'm gonna go get a new pipe. I have a brand new pipe we're gonna put on here and see, I'm pretty sure that's gonna match up when I do that. So that's not awesome. The fact that the head's leaking is not awesome. Also on the left side, which is usually what I do more damage on, if you hit something and it you know hits like that with just a bare pipe, a lot of times it'll you know fold this around, but it doesn't always rip the header or the pipe out of the cylinder. It can, with the guard, it can transfer that energy and do other damage to things. Now, I do run a flange protector to help keep that kind of stuff from happening. Let's go get a new pipe and let's just see what the difference is. Way better job of that than I thought. There we go. Shiny new brand, shiny brand new FMF. Let's clean this area up a little bit before I put it back on. All right. That's better. New pipe. Obviously a bit of a struggle to get on just because this bike has over 500 hours on it. <laughs> Nothing's all that straight anymore, but you can see I am gonna be able to put a mount back on here. That's awesome. This mount's gonna fit just fine. <clears throat> and that is gonna seal way better. So again, I guess maybe I was a little bit wrong about pipe guards. I always thought that they just dented everything anyway. And I think they do if you hit them really hard, but I'm still gonna stick with running a bare pipe. I still think it's a better idea for finishing a ride. Maybe not the longevity, like small dings and things like that. Obviously it's gonna protect very, very well, but on like big hits and stuff like that, I'd rather have it just be a bare pipe and then, you know, I'll deal with the pipe later. We can blow it out like we do here. So anyway, thanks guys. See you on the next one.